Okay, welcome to movement class number four. So let's just uh, remember that this is not therapy. This is just a movement class. Make sure to only move to the level of your comfort. Um, you know, if something's painful, try to either make the movement smaller or you can simply just visualize the movement. Um, yeah, so never push past uh, your, your, your personal level of comfort. Okay. So we're gonna start off with standing, and instead of thinking of our collarbones like the wings of a bird, we're gonna pretend the arms are like the wings of a bird. So we're gonna breathe in and flap up. Exhale, flap down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, and again inhale up, exhale down. Now we're going to pretend we're holding a big ball and we're going to lift the ball up, tilt the ball to the side. Tilt to the other side. Bring the ball to the middle. Rotate to one side. Slowly rotating to the other. And bring the ball up. Tilting to the side. Tilting to the other side, bringing it down, turning, and turning to the other side, and one more time, bring the ball up, tilting to the side, tilting to the other side. dropping the arms down we're gonna give them a little shake and then we're just gonna rotate our body just letting our arms kind of fling from side to side just noticing the rotation in the mid back and you can even kind of move your hips side to side to get that rotation going good hands on the hips and big round circles. Imagining like we're doing a really slow hula hoop. And then a really slow hula hoop the other way. Good. Then we're gonna squat down and try to almost touch our hands, kind of bouncing up and down in kind of a squat like we're Trying to touch the ground and lifting up, reaching back, and dropping down into kind of like a little bouncy squat. Working a little bit of our quads and reaching up and back down. Reaching up to the sky. Good, and bringing the arms down. Now we're gonna do some big circles. Going forwards and backwards. Good, now we're gonna try opposite arm moving forward. Other arm moving back. And 
and switching. It's okay if it, coordination does. You can tell my coordination one way isn't as good as the other way. That's okay. Good. And then we're going to imagine that the arms and our hands are kind of like the neck of a flamingo. And we're going to just imagine like we're plucking a fish out of the water. So just getting some range of motion in our wrists, in our fingers, in our elbows. Just plucking forward. And pluck. Good. Now we're going to get into a slight squat, kind of with our body sort of leaning forward and our hands are going to sort of hang. And we're just going to kind of pull back as if we were pulling uh, the string of a lawnmower, but both arms at the same time. So pull and release. Pull and release. Pull and release. standing up we're just gonna do like a little kind of like a Latin salsa rotation through the pelvis and then trying to go the opposite way doing circles just to get some motion through our pelvis good then we're gonna come down on our mats we're gonna do a little bit of sort of cat dog so on our hands we're going to look up, stick our butt out, and take a nice breath in. Then exhale and curve inward. Inhale, looking up. Exhale as you curve. Exhale as you curve. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Now we're going to try to hold our body almost like as if we were a table. So I want you to imagine you have, you know, cups of full water um, on your back. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start off with reaching our hand forward as if we're grabbing something, bringing it down. Then we're going to very carefully make sure we can shift our weight to grab with our other hand. So try to keep the back as stable and as flat as possible. So if you start doing, you know, if you start doing this, your cups of water are going to tip. So reaching forward and down. Reaching forward and down. Reaching forward and down. Reaching forward and down. Now we're going to try to do the same with our legs. This can be a little bit more tricky. So if you find yourself lifting and twisting, uh, what I may suggest is just trying to keep your foot on the ground but straightening it out so trying to keep your back straight as you sort of extend the leg if you think you can kind of hold firmly and you may need to get your hands just a little bit wider you can try to get the leg up and back down shifting the weight leg up and back down Leg up and back down. Leg up and down. Ah. Up and other side. Good. For those of you that want to try to get real tricky, let's try opposite arm and opposite leg. So make sure you 
sort of take the time to to center your, you know, center your gravity, your body's gravity, and then lifting arm and leg. Try to hold as stable as you can, bringing it back down, and then switching sides. Just go nice and slow. Take your time on the weight shift so that you don't drop your glasses of water that are on your back. Good. And last one. Good. Now we're going to come sit down we're going to lie on our sides, head propped up, knees together, and we're going to do a little bit of the clamshell. So just imagine that there's, uh, that the legs are um, a clam and the clam is going to open up. So make sure your feet stay together in contact and you're just opening ever so slightly as if you were to show you have a pearl and then close the clam. Open the clam, close the clam, open, close, two more, open, close, one more, and close, good. And then we're going to prop ourselves up, bring our legs forward. And then tip over to the other side. Same position. And we're going to open the clam and close. Open, close. Open, close. And last one. Good. Now we're going to turn over onto our backs and then we're going to take one leg straight, wrap our hands around and try to straighten out our, straighten out our knee. And then bring it back down and straighten out the knee. Straighten out the knee, and back down, and straighten up, thank you. And now we're going to do big circles, or little circles, whichever feels most comfortable to you. Getting some range of motion through our leg, one, two, three, and down. Other leg, straighten out the hinge, release the hinge, straighten, and release, and straighten, and release, and straighten, and circles. other way. And down. This time you're going to bring your foot on top of your other, um, uh, other leg's knee and you're going to bring both, you're going to bring your knee close to your chest and then release and bring it in. Then other side, and last one, bring the knee nice and close, good, 
Now we're going to keep the knees uh, so the feet are off the ground and we're going to imagine that our knees are kind of like the like uh, ends of a book. So we're going to open the book, close the book. the knees nice and close to the body, arms around, and now you're going to imagine like you're a barrel full of wine. You're going to roll a little bit to the side and roll a little bit to the other side. You're just going to roll kind of back and forth. Again, going as comfortably as you can go in the range of motion. Good, bringing the feet down and letting the feet fall from one side to the other. And back and forth and back. stretching out the legs, stretching out the arms, palms up. Now we're just going to relax, take a couple of deep breaths in. So breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. turning on to the side and up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, movement class number four, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.